Hello everyone, this is video number two of my sequences and series series and hopefully if you get to the end of the series you will be able to ace this section in your matric final exam. If you missed the first video I will leave the link down below and you can go and watch that video and please leave a like and a comment if you enjoy this type of content. Okay, so let's get back into example two. Example two, just like example one, is covering quadratic number patterns. Now we need to remember that a number pattern is classified as quadratic if it has a constant second difference. And this fact is going to be especially important in the question that we are working with today. Now, this number pattern that they've given us, I'm just going to rewrite it underneath. We can see that they have not given us every single term or the value of every single term in this number pattern. They have actually expressed terms 2 and 5 in terms of variables and they now want us to calculate the values of these variables. Now sure some of you might be able to do this by inspection by just checking what must x and y be in order for you to say categorically that this is a quadratic number pattern in order for there to be a constant second difference but that is not always as easy as it seems. It's better to have a method that will always work. Now what I'm going to do first is I am going to just just express all of the differences between these terms because like we said before we know that this number pattern has to have a constant second difference so that second difference has to be equal to that second difference and has to be equal to that second difference now what we need to remember is that the difference between any two terms is always the second term minus the term that came before it or the difference is let's use a capital D here because these differences are not going to be the same but the difference when we are actually calculating the differences we always take a term and we subtract the term before it that is going to give us the difference so if I am calculating the difference between terms 2 and 1 in this number pattern my second term is x my first term is negative 2 so that difference there is actually going to be x plus 2 so that is going to be my first, first difference. Now, if I'm calculating the next first difference, the difference between terms 3 and term 2, I have to take term 3, which is 8, minus term 2. It's always that way around. So this difference is going to be 8 minus x. I am writing quite small because these, these differences are quite close together. Now the next one is quite nice. What is the difference between 19 and 8? So if I take term 4 minus term 3, you obviously don't have to write this down on the side. I just want it to be as clear as possible for you guys. 19 minus 8 is 11. And we can see that that is the difference, right? I am adding 11 to 8 so that I can get the next term, which is 19. And then when I have to find the difference after that, if I take term 5 minus term 4, I'm going to take y minus 19. That is going to be the next first difference. Now guys, remember that these differences that we've calculated now are not equal to each other. The second difference will have to be equal, the second differences. So what we are now going to do to calculate this second difference. Let me put it in pink so that we can color code it. I'm going to have to take 8 minus x and then subtract the previous first difference from that. Now I'm writing this as a separate step on the side because we have to work with brackets here, guys. Remember when you are subtracting more than one term, you always have to put the minus in front of the brackets and then put those two terms in brackets to ensure that you are actually subtracting both terms. So we are going to end up with 6 minus 2x if you work that out. So this is the second difference that I'm getting between my first first difference and my second first difference. Now we need to calculate the next second difference. So this green one over here. I need to take 11, which is my third first difference, minus 8 minus x, which is my, sorry about that, minus 8 minus x, which is my second first difference. So I'm going, going to say 11 minus 8 plus x, so that is going to give me an answer of 3 plus x. So that is my second second difference. 
then for my third second difference, I'm going to have to take my fourth first difference and subtract my third first difference. In this case, it's an easier one to do because at least this third first difference is just one term. So I'm going to end up with y minus 30 as that third second difference. Now remember, what did we say earlier? The classifying property of a quadratic number pattern is that it has a constant second difference, which means that these three second differences that we've calculated have to be equal to each other. So I'm going to say that 6 minus 2x is equal to 3 plus x, and this will now allow me to solve for x. So I'm getting all my x's on the one side, all my numbers on the other side, and I'm getting that x is equal to 1. There we go, that's great. Now we know that since x is equal to 1, this second difference here is actually equal to 4. And again, I know that my second differences are constant, so that means that these two second differences have to be equal to each other. So I can say that y minus 30 is equal to 4, so y is going to be equal to 34. I hope that that was helpful. Please leave a like or comment and subscribe for more of this content.